to the victim's request. A spokesperson told us under Illinois Supreme Court ethics rules, they cannot comment. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you. Fox 13 News was in court today as the prosecution played recorded jail phone calls of what investigators say is paid concocting a defense scheme with his mom. Fox 13 News reporter AJ Janivelle is breaking down why these calls are so important for the state's case. And we do want to offer a warning to our young viewers, especially the language may be offensive to some. Viewer discretion is advised. Listen to what I told him. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, my mom's a whore. And, and doesn't know who's in and out of the house because whoever's in there gets their high. That's what I told them. You told them what? These are recorded phone calls from Pierce County Jail. <laughs> the prosecution what? says it is audio of accused murderer Malik Pate speaking to his mom. And this is what come, come out in court. Like, I'm a whore and I don't know what's going on. Wow. Pate is charged with killing 42-year-old Maria Nunez Yese, her son, 19-year-old Of course, Yese, right? Maria's brother, 22-year-old Raymond Williams and Raymond's girlfriend. 20 Jesus Christ, son, man. Man, what's the score out again on the Sun Man Tone break? What's the score? I think y'all up, right? But it's, it's close. Yeah, man. Nah, it yeah, ain't barely. Even... It ain't close, man. Nah. We're going to get momentum. Watch. It's a four point play, man. He hit the three and got fouled, man. God damn. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Fuck. He wiped out the he wiped out a whole goddamn legacy, man. Shit. And no one gives a fuck. And no one is wow. gonna give me fuck. Pate is charged crazy with killing forty Pate is charged with killing forty two year old Maria Nunez Yese, her son, nineteen year old Emery Yese, Maria's brother. 22-year-old Raymond Williams and Raymond's girlfriend, 22-year-old Natasha Brinsfield. The prosecution says these recordings show Pate scheming a defense strategy despite knowing the calls are recorded. You ain't got no fingerprints on this gun. You ain't got no fingerprints on nothing. It ain't mine. I do not how anybody feel. You ain't got no actual face shot where I can look you in your eyes on camera. The prosecution addressed this by showing surveillance video <laughs> of the person investigators say is the murderer compared with clothes found in Pate's room and tattoos he has. Before the jail callings were played in court, defense attorney Travis Curry tried to get the evidence thrown out. These are recordings of phone calls made by somebody who entered my client's PIN number and nothing else. Curry worked to create doubt in the jury wow. that it might not have been Pate on the phone. But the prosecution argued the caller in these recordings referenced specifics to Pate's case, including his attorney's name. Later in the day, Pate put his head down on the table like he was sleeping. He was like this for about 20 minutes. Why he did this is an unknown. Reporting in Tacoma, A.J. Janivel, Fox 13 News. I mean, the evidence is right there. Yeah, it's, it's overwhelming, <laughs> and you still don't, you still can't feel too good though, because you know how it works. <laughs> yeah, man, you son, know how son, it goes. Son, son. Man. There's somebody who believes that maybe it wasn't him on the phone. <laughs> there was yeah, somebody yeah. else talking to his mother about details in the case. <laughs> right, they could match up the phone calls to the cameras that are on the phones while he's trying to use his self-defense of the arrogance to think you could beat your own voice in See, court. back in the day, in the 80s, before all this technology shit, they still solve cases, man. And motherfuckers, like, they got all this shit now and they still can't. It, it's like, it's raised the bar because everybody watches CSI and NCIS and now they now they need goddamn all this damn evidence. The, the motherfucker did the shit, man. Yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're just too afraid to accept the truth. He's right. guilty. Yeah. Look, like, support what about the, the channel. Where else can you get this? Support the <laughs> fucking channel. Where else can you fucking get Yeah, support get this? the channel. Tell them wicked. I'm going to go to the chat, guys. Uh, right. Great show. I'm going to keep watching. Look all right, this man. beautiful white girl, man. Dating an old burrito just got caught up <laughs> in... <laughs> She just got caught up in this, man. She had nothing to do with this. She was just his girlfriend. 
I wonder why he did that shit. Why did that son man what, do this? What, what do you what, what do you, you really asking? What do you mean? <laughs> you really you know, like, what happened? Like, no, what was the situation? Like, man. was it the look? Like, you know, like, nah, man, like, what happened? Well, like, like, you don't want to have been anything. As you can imagine it was an incredibly tough day in court. For Laval Iesi, he lost his wife, son, and brother-in-law in that shooting. In the past hour, he told me his surviving family is happy to see this case finally moving forward. And today, he sat in the gallery as we heard from both sides. Laval Iesi is seeking justice more than two years after three of his relatives were gunned down in Tacoma. Nothing, honestly, is not going to bring any closure because, you know, our loved ones were taken. Malik Pate sat emotionless smiling. during opening remarks. And this son turns in court smiling. Man. You got to sit there and watch him smiling and shit. Yeah. Imagine his family. We love you, baby. What do you think the reaction what about that, the, What do you think the reaction would be if the bailiff just aired him out right there in the courtroom? <laughs> what about the defense attorney, though? He's got to defend that guy knowing that he's guilty. He's got to come up with some kind of bullshit to throw at the wall because that guy's probably you know he just wants yeah. to fight it he's got to say something yeah. yeah and they say the stupid shit but they say something yo my it depends on the on the race of the bailiff right if he's a glider then it's gonna be the fucking news of the century biden <laughs> might speak on it does it also tell the a, color of the gun if the gun was stainless it, it would be more more uh, more <laughs> severe but if it's a sun man bailiff then it might be cool what if it was a sub man bailing for a black gun? Do you think it would care? I think it'll be all good if that's, you know. <laughs> it'll be like a 30 black. second segment. <laughs> He's in here smiling, man. Like, he just snuffed out four lives. And he's in the family. Is, he knows the family's in the gallery. And he's sitting here smiling. Further victimizing him. Malik Pate sat emotionless during opening remarks for his quadruple murder trial. There was nothing in the air or in the skies that warned the families. The prosecuting attorney painted a picture of a horrific and seemingly random murder of relatives Maria Nunez, Emery Iese, Raymond Williams, and Raymond's girlfriend Natasha Brinsfield. Como News covered the grisly scene in a driveway, and it was one that shook the city to its core. With no cause, no emotion, kill them, execution style. Is the state's case is almost entirely based on circumstantial evidence against our clients. In response, the defense told jurors there is no firm proof of Pate's involvement. So you're going to have to set aside the dramatic part of the story and the tragedy exist here and do your job as jurors. ESA hopes there will soon be answers about what exactly happened here. If we'll never know why, then the next best thing is for him to be in prison. And never, you know, not only the, not only for us, but not so he won't hurt anybody else anymore. It appears to be red. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's him. Nobody knows why, yeah. It. It's gotta be a reason, man. That moment anything. during the hearing, the sound of crying overtook the lawyer's words. Some family members even covering their ears to block out the disturbing and tragic recounting of the murders of four innocent people. His arm pointing, his gun aiming, and his gun firing. At the driver. Feet away, accused murderer Malik Pate watched and listened as the prosecution described the last moments of 42 year old Maria Nunez Yese, her son, 19 year old Embry Yese, Maria's brother, 22 year old Raymond Williams, and Williams' girlfriend, 22 year old Natasha Brinsfield. The prosecution also talked about these doorbell camera pics that captured what they say is Pate fleeing from the murder scene. They referenced this evidence found inside Pate's home, including the gun investigator forensically matched the murder weapon hidden inside Pate's suitcase. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, you have it all. Yeah. The shoes, <laughs> the clothing, 
the yeah. gun. <laughs> it's Yo, all there. But the defense attorney said, Connie "Put put all that to the side." Man, fuck the defense attorney. <laughs> <laughs> to the side, even the shorts. Throw Yo, him in jail too. God, man. <laughs> in Kim Fox County, this ain't enough, five. Oh no. Yes. Fuck. Right. Is man. their last name Essay? Is that just me? Essay. I S C. Oh. This is this is like yo, he was ready to skip town with the gun. Like yo, he news flash, he did it, and and I still like I'm waiting, man, on pins and needles. Is he gonna beat this? Because he's a <laughs> son man. Like when you a son man, it, this it's just like yo, you never know, man. And it's always been like this. This is nothing new. It's always been like this. This is this is this is this case should be over, man. The, the longer they drag this out, the more something can happen. Russia Brinsfield. The prosecution also talked about these doorbell camera pics that captured what they say is Pate fleeing from the murder scene. They referenced this evidence found inside Pate's home, including the gun investigators say forensically matched the murder weapon hidden inside Pate's suitcase. They also talked about phone calls between Pate and his mom, which investigators say show how the two schemed a defense, claiming Pate's mom has sex with a lot of men and the gun could have come from one of them. To hear it again, it's still raw, you know, and um, hearing it and hearing the other things we didn't hear, like the evidence and, you know, all that um, footage and, of course, pictures, it, uh, it helps to know that you know everything is falling where it should be but it ends up coming back the verdict of not guilty during the defense's statements the lawyer told the jury the prosecution has no hard evidence to prove their case think about this fucktard looking back at you and shit it didn't to that dumbass look on his face you one you know of the family members you know it's even crazier in the paperwork they're like Pretty much calling his mama whore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, man. His mom has sex with a lot of men. It could have been one of theirs. Oh no. She was like, "What?" She was like, "You said you told him what?" Shit, man. Oh, I just, I just, man, golly. I really hope it doesn't happen, but it. He might actually be. <laughs> he fits with the DNA evidence. This is not a good look out for the black and brown corners. Not the no. people. Oh, not at all. He beats that. That's but, that's crazy. But but I, but I still gotta hear. I, I still gotta hear how some people are so caring and giving and forgiving. Shut the fuck up. Shit. Fucking Christ. There's no reason he didn't. They, we still don't. Like, I'm just trying to find a reason, man. Like, why he snuffed that whole lineage? DNA out. is not a reason? Yeah, uh, yeah, DNA is the reason. It's the reason. That's what we have to fall back on that because it seems like there's no other reason. Well, the yeah. reason really is because, uh, some gladders buy slaves to America. Thank end. God. Or, or, or this, <laughs> wicked, wicked, or this. How are they destroying cities? Uh, some people say that. How are they destroying cities, allegedly? They, they can, no, no, no. How certain, some some people we try and say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, like, you, you know that inside. Yeah, like, what do you mean, uh, destroying cities? What do you mean? <laughs> what do I mean? I was listening. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to it today. I was just like, man, it was. It's it's a little bizarre. Man, it, it's it's frustrating, bro. Trust me when I tell you that. Yeah, it's an interesting show, but nothing so beats do, this one. So, do do you think they're destroying these cities? Of course, of course. But to some people, they say they're not. I. I don't know if he. I don't know if they're he's playing, playing around by saying that. Yeah. I don't think he's playing around. Um, 
But you gotta understand, bro. At the end of the day, these kids, these kids are just babies, you know. And, and everyone could change, right? Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. No, no, there's no change from that. Some people still think it's confined to only certain neighborhoods. When listen, out everywhere now. Yeah, listen, I'm Haitian, and 